Hi, my name is Briseida Perez, and I am the ACE Dean Logistics Coordinator here at the Children's Museum of Houston. We are about to start our story time today, but before we get started, I just want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Philip66, who has been supporting the museum today. Right now, I am in the Parent Resource Library inside of the Children's Museum, where normally we have story times at 11.15, 1.15, and 3.15, but since you guys can't come to the museum, we're bringing the museum to you. So get comfortable and let's get started. The book today we're reading is Click Clack Moo Cows at Type by Doreen Cronin, pictures by Betsy Lewin. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click clack moo, click clack moo, clickety clack moo. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows at type? Impossible. Click clack moo, click clack moo, clickety clack moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very old and very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click clack moo, click clack moo. Clickety clack moo. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed, no milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click clack moo, click clack moo, clickety clack moo. Cows at type, hens on strike. Whoever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but no one but none, one of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with a typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. The next morning he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click clack quack, click clack quack, clickety clack quack. The end. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to come back for our other story times every day at 11.15 and 1.15. Bye.